Hey there, welcome back to UK Pro Reviewer. Today, we're diving into TCL's flagship QM8 class TV, which promises impressive HDR brightness and excellent local dimming capabilities. We recently had the opportunity to get hands-on with the QM8, and we're excited to share our findings with you. So let's jump right into it. TCL has always been a proponent of mini-LED and quantum dot technology in their TVs, and with the QM8 series, they've managed to bring both features together at an attractive price point. The QM8 class serves as TCL's flagship model for 2023, and it's the only one in their lineup to combine a mini-LED backlight with an LCD panel featuring a quantum dot layer. These TVs are available in screen sizes ranging from 65 inches up to a massive 98 inches. During our hands-on testing, we had the opportunity to evaluate an 85-inch QM8 model, and we were impressed by its performance. The 85-inch variant is priced at £2,239.99, while the 65-inch version comes in at £1,359. All QM8 series TVs are available now, except for the 98-inch model, which is set to arrive later this year at a price of £9,499.99. The QM8 series TVs feature the Google TV Smart Platform, offering seamless streaming and voice control. They are equipped with TCL's latest Gen 3 AIPQ processor and support various high dynamic range formats such as Dolby Vision IQ and HDR10+. With a peak brightness of 2000 nits and over 2300 local dimming zones, these TVs deliver exceptional picture quality. Additionally, the QM8 series is the only TCL TV lineup for 2023 that features an anti-glare screen coating, ensuring optimal viewing in various lighting conditions. These features make the QM8 a great choice for gaming enthusiasts. In terms of design, the 85-inch QM8 model we tested had a bezel-free design and came with a height-adjustable center-mounted pedestal stand. It offers four HDMI inputs, including one with 4K 120Hz support and another with 4K 144Hz support. The TV also features Dolby Atmos and DTS Virtual X audio formats, along with a built-in 2x10 watt speaker system. During our testing, we examined the TV's performance using the Spears and Munsell Ultra HD HDR 4K Blu-ray test disc. We found that the QM8 delivered excellent brightness uniformity on white full-screen test patterns when viewed straight on. However, like many LCD-based TVs, off-axis viewing resulted in decreased contrast and less vivid colors. In terms of peak brightness, we measured a maximum of 1,805 nits on a 10% white window pattern in default movie mode. While this falls slightly below some other mini-LED backlit TVs we've tested, it's still an impressive result that comes close to TCL specifications for the QM8 series. The high peak brightness combined with deep and detailed blacks created a sense of depth and immersion in the content we watched. The QM8's Gen 3 AIPQ processor impressed us with its handling of motion and noise. We were able to create a custom setting to minimize motion artifacts without introducing the dreaded soap opera effect to the images. Scenes from movies like James Bond's No Time to Die look noticeably sharper and more solid with these adjustments. The QM8's picture quality extended beyond motion handling. When we watched scenes from June, the misty environment was rendered with minimal noise, and the HDR highlights were delivered in a detailed manner. The colors appeared rich and clean, while deep shadows appeared solid black, adding depth to the overall viewing experience. Priced at £2,799.99 for the 85-inch model, the TCL QM8 offers impressive value for a large screen TV with high HDR brightness. Its effective local dimming processing enhances contrast and black levels, contributing to captivating picture quality. If you're looking for other options or want to explore the best 85-inch TVs on the market, be sure to check out our comprehensive guide. That wraps up our review of the TCL QM8 series TV. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth reviews and tech content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.